You've seen this Google AI option probably a thousand times already. And you've also probably ignored it every time. I did too. Turns out it's actually hiding eight really good productivity features and most people have no idea. So let me show you what's been sitting right under your nose. It creates professional images. It plans entire trips in just one chat. It turns really long YouTube videos into bullet points. It does deep research with real sources. And it has many other hacks, including number eight, which basically gives you a full AI team. I'm going to walk you through each of these eight features step by step. By the end of this, you should be able to use Google's Gemini like a pro. So let's start with number one, Gemini Flash versus Pro. Choose wisely. Gemini Flash is for lightning fast, quick tasks, quick questions, basic summaries, and simple tasks. Gemini Pro is where the magic actually happens. Deep thinking, complex analysis, and detailed research. So here's my quick rule. When in doubt, go pro. It may take an extra couple of seconds, but the better results are definitely worth the wait. But try both models for yourself and see which one suits you better. So number two, image and video generation. Now let's talk about creating visuals. Gemini uses ImageN for image generation and honestly, it rivals a lot of paid tools. So let's watch this demo. Generate a minimalist workspace image with plants and natural lighting. Create a professional headshot of a confident businesswoman in a modern office. I've used this for creating images for slides, for social posts, and even for images on a website. Gemini also has VO, Google's AI video generator. You can create short videos with VO, but not everyone has access to it just yet. When you do get access though, it's pretty impressive. For both of the generators, the key is being quite specific. Don't just say, make an image of a dog. Instead, try golden retriever sitting in a cozy coffee shop during golden hour. This gives you really high quality images for exactly what you want. The difference is night and day. Number three is travel planning. This is where Gemini really impressed me. The travel extensions are really helpful if you want to plan a trip all in one space. No need to go to different sites, different apps. You can do it all in one chat in Gemini. Let me show you. At Google Flights, show me cheap flights from LA to New York next weekend. Here you go. It gives you all the options and it gives you the price and you can see the different airlines and just click through to book from there. Now let's see if we can get a hotel. At Google Hotels, can you find me a hotel in the West Village for those dates, please? And you get a few different options here and you can even tailor depending on your budget and your preferences. Finally, you might want to find things to do. At Google Maps, find me top coffee shops near Central Park. Here you go. It shows you exactly where they are, gives you their website, and it even shows you their rating. 4.9, not bad at all. So that's one conversation and an entire trip planned. This to me is a great integration that other tools don't have. Number four, YouTube summaries. Stop watching those two hour long podcasts when you actually just want to get to the main points. Here's the hack. Drop a YouTube link into Gemini, tag YouTube and ask it for what you want from the video. At YouTube, summarize the key points from this video. You can see it even connects to YouTube here. And there you have it, a quick summary of all the key points and you even have the timestamps link so you can go to that section of the video. And here's a link to the video. I use this for research and learning and it's really, really helpful. No other tool has this because YouTube is actually owned by Google, which owns Gemini. So they have direct integrations for YouTube. It's great. It's like having a research assistant who watches the video for you. Number five, deep research with real sources. Deep research really sets Gemini apart from other AI tools. Deep research is really good for getting real sources and real citations. So you know exactly where your information is coming from and you can verify it by clicking through to links. So what are the top productivity trends for professionals in 2025? Include sources. See that? Every claim has a source. This isn't just useful, it's actually very trustworthy. It's helpful for using this research in presentations so you know exactly where the data is coming from and that it hasn't hallucinated. So you can see the websites that it's pulled from here. It shows you what the research has come out with. We're halfway through and we haven't even seen the best ones yet. If you're enjoying these practical AI tips, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This allows me to grow my audience and test more tools like this for you. So number six is Notebook LM. So this tool is really good for research as well. Notebook LM allows you to upload any article, PDF, document, even YouTube videos. And then you can ask it specifically only about the content that you have added to the notebook. And it can create podcasts from your documents if you prefer to learn via audio. It's basically two AI hosts talking about your documents like it's a radio show. I made a full video on all the features and benefits of Notebook LM and you can check it out by clicking the link up here. Number seven, Google Workspace integration. This is where Gemini becomes your AI coworker. You can use it in pretty much any of the Google Workspace apps. Let's quickly look at Docs, Sheets and Slides. Let's start with Google Docs. It basically becomes a writing partner for you within here. So you can ask it to rephrase certain paragraphs, make this more fun, fine, insert, and there you go, more fun. 
write a conclusion to this document. There you go. It can write paragraphs for you. So really smooth integration into Google Docs. Next on to Sheets. You can get Gemini to help you analyze data. So you can ask it, what trends can you see in this data? Gives you a pretty good summary. You can even create formulae in natural language. Finally, you can ask questions about the data and it gives you pretty accurate answers. And finally, in slides, you can ask it to create slides for you. Create a slide about the benefit of bees. You can also ask Gemini questions about a certain document and it can pull that answer for you. To be fair, the slides could probably be a bit better, but at least it's a starting point. And to be fair, I haven't given it much information about what I want on the slide. So this isn't just helping, it's actually building a lot of your work for you. The workspace integration saves you time from copying and pasting between certain docs. And it works where you're already working. A really helpful one if you work in the Google workspace. So finally, number eight is GEMS, your custom AI assistants. This is the secret weapon a lot of people miss. And it's one of my favorite features. GEMS are custom versions of Gemini that you can program for specific tasks. You can think of them as quite similar to custom GPTs in ChatGPT. So you can see them in the left rail here, and you can explore GEMS that Google have, has already created. For example, a career guide. What skills do I need to work on for the next five years? Or you can create your own GEMS. Give it a name, writing assistant. You can give instructions as to exactly what you want the GEM to do. You can also add knowledge documents to your GEM for reference. And then when you save it, it's ready to go. And you can start chatting to it like it's your AI assistant. Really simple to make. And you can create multiple gems depending on your use case. So basically it ends up being like having a team of AI assistants. Each gem is like hiring a special assistant for each task. So here's what shocked me the most about Gemini. Most of this is completely free. Image generation, free. Deep research, free. YouTube summaries, free. Basic gems, free. Travel planning, you know it's free. And Notebook LM, yes, that one's also free. You only really end up paying for the advanced workplace integrations and higher limits. There's a free trial for everything, so you may as well just try it and then see if you actually need to pay for the paid version. So having explored the tool, I have to admit that this is pretty good compared to some of the other tools I've used, especially when you consider all the free options that you're getting. Try Gemini yourself and test out those features I showed and let me know what you think in the comments. If this helped you along on your Gemini journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you can join this journey for further AI tool productivity tips. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.